What's good, everyone? It's the one and only Umwa Fino. If you guys enjoy NFL, NBA content, one season gaming content in the near future, give this video a like. If you're new, go and subscribe to the channel while you at it. Now, let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, so it's, an, it's team preview time, man. It's team preview time. Of course, you know we, we're, we're rocking with the ASC North right now. Uh, just did the um, Cincinnati Bengals and the Cleveland Browns, so go check those videos out right now. But... Now it's time to do the Pittsburgh Steelers, man. It's time for the Pittsburgh Steelers 2019-2020 team preview, man. And it's going to be a really good one, man. It's going to be a really good team preview, man. So let's just go ahead and let's get into things, man. Um, we're going to, of course, start off with... Let's start off with the offense. Let's start off with the offense. Um, of course, you know... Um, a lot of things has happened this all season. Of course, you know we all know about the departures of Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell, and we know how that's um, how that's um, you know changed that the dynamic. But we gotta be real. Le'Veon Bell didn't even play last year, and James Conner played pretty well. Um, they even had the other um, running back that played really well named Jalen Samuel. Uh, he really impressed me. Was a really big body. So, in my opinion, they're not going to have that Le'Veon Bell, that super dynamic three down back who can do pretty much anything, where that's line, um, running the ball or lining up as a receiver. Hell, Le'Veon Bell could play the slot if needed. So, they're not going to have anybody like that, but they got James Conner, who, like I said, was a pro bowl. And, and then Jalen Samuel, he's pretty decent too, man. Pretty decent too. Um, now, as for Antonio Brown, that's a whole... That's a, that's a different thing, man. Um, uh, it's going to be hard to um, replace. Well, matter of fact, you can't even replace a player like A.B., man. A.B. is just A.B., but, um, you know, it's Big Ben. Um, um, Big Ben, he's he's played without a Tony Brown before and been pretty good, I mean. That year that they won the Super Bowl, there wasn't no Antonio Brown. Now, with that being said, there was a Heinz Ward, there was a Santonio Holmes. So, but you know, no AB. I think that's going to probably hurt them a little bit more than Le'Veon Bell missing. But look, you still got Juju. You got you still got Juju Smith Schuster, and I, I'm believing that James Washington might have a big year. Um, I feel like he's more like a deep threat. I feel that. Uh, James Washington probably have a big year, and of course Juju Smith. And um, you still got the tight end Vance McDonald. Uh, I believe they lost Jesse James, who was a good a good um, receiver threat for the Steelers. I believe he went to the Lions. And, um, and you know, but you still got Vance McDonald who can block and pretty much do everything. So I, I pretty much see this being more of a balanced offense. You know. We all used to Big Ben just coming out and throwing it 40 or 50 times. And, I mean, he did have a 5,000-yard season last year. But with no more Antonio Brown losing a receiver threat and Jesse James, um, you, got, you got James Conner still and you still got Jalen Samuels. So I believe that they might pound the ball a little bit more, which is going to be interesting. And plus, we can't forget about how good this offensive line is. I mean, we're talking about maybe the best offensive line. If not the best, then it's at least a top five offensive line in the NFL. So, um, yeah. But I believe they lost Mark Marcus Gilbert. I believe that's what his name, played tackle. Um, that might hurt them on the offensive line, but we're still talking about a, a really, really good offensive line either way. So. Uh, that that always helps your team because we all know that offenses can only be as good as our offensive line is. So like you can't name me a consistent great offense without a good offensive line. But anyway, you still got Big Ben. Big Ben is, you know, I believe he's gonna feed Juju Smith. It, it just feels like Juju Smith Schuster is gonna have a big year for for people that play fantasy. For you guys that are big fantasy guys, Juju Smith Schuster might be the guy to go get and. <laughs> You know, I might, I might have to hop on the fantasy and go pick him up. Now, I know a lot of people are talking about him as being, like, a top five receiver. I think you guys are pushing it now. And you guys say that. And I might I might do another video or another video where I just explain my top 
five top ten receivers in the NFL, but I'm not sure Juju Smith Schuster is there yet, but you know, he might have a he might have a year on this upcoming season where he's put in that category. So we'll see what's good with that. But you know his offense is still gonna be elite. I know he lost Tony Brown, Le'Veon Bell, just lost two Hall of Famers pretty much, but um you know, this offense, I still expect them to be a pretty much a top 10 offense still. Um, but let's go and let's get into this defensive side, because that's what, I, that's what I really want to speak on this team. Um, of course, Mike Tomlin, he's known as more as a defensive coach. So I want to go and speak on this defensive side, because I think this is where the Steelers are getting a lot. Of, they're getting underestimated, man. and I want to speak on it, man. I really want to speak on it. So let's go and start off with this defense, man. Uh, now, we do know that the Steelers, they do run a 3-4 defense. Um, not that many teams in the NFL run that 3-4 defense, but the Steelers, you know, they've been known to run a 3-4 defense pretty much since Mike Town has been there, I believe, that the Steelers run a 3-4 old school defense. And, um, yeah, let's going to start with Now, you know, this defensive line is still pretty good. Of course, you got Cameron, um, Cameron Hayward, uh, Javon, um, Hargrave, who played pretty well last year, and Stephon to it. Three, three really good defensive linemen. They're going to do their own. Uh, the only thing I would say is, with it being a 3-4 defense, usually the defensive line doesn't have that much depth. So they're going, they they just need to stay healthy. That's the biggest thing about the defensive line. But, you know, if, if the defensive line is healthy, the Steelers are going to be well on that D-line. Now, the linebacking core is, what, is what's really good, in my opinion. You got TJ Watt. You got Vince Williams and Bud Dupree, man. And, well, ooh. Yeah, you got those three. You got those three. Now, I don't know who's going to be the fourth linebacker with this being a 3-4 defense. Uh, I just don't know. I'm pretty sure Steelers fans are going to tell me what's good about that. But, um, you got, you got three solid, um, linebackers. Um, of course, we know T.J. Watt. JJ Watt's brother, he he showed up really well. Uh, Bud Dupree, I've seen a lot of things while like from Bud Dupree and Vince Williams is a solid uh, veteran linebacker. So um, the linebacking core looks pretty good, but um, but yeah, um, I, I just need to find out who's going to be that fourth linebacker. And I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that you guys going to tell me. I believe is they're saying that it's a guy named Anthony Chick Chick Wiggle? To cook up. I don't know who that is. I'm pretty sure Steelers fans are gonna inform me on what who that is and what's really good about that. Now let's go and let's talk about the secondary, man. Let's talk about the secondary, man. Now of course you got Joe Hayden, who is a, a really solid veteran, He's still giving you a uh, quality cornerback play with him being in the league so long. Uh, really don't see that many um, cornerbacks stay in the lead that long, but you know he's still a, re a really solid cornerback, man. Um, then you got Mike Hilton, you got Artie Burns, and you got their nickel cornerback, who's Mike Hilton. So you're talking about a pretty good um, cornerback um, core. Um, there's really no elite cornerbacks because I can't call Joe Hayden an elite anymore. Uh, the last time Joe Hayden was probably elite was when he was with the Cleveland Browns, and he's not there anymore. <laughs> he's getting up there in age, so I mean he's still solid though. He's still really solid. Mike Hilton has shown that he can be a solid nickel cornerback, and Artie Burns and um, Artie Burns is a, um, a solid, you know, number two cornerback. But um, it, I think their cornerback core is pretty solid. Pretty solid cornerback core. Um, now the safety position is going to be interesting. You guys did lose uh, what's his name from Morgan Burnett. Uh, lost the veteran Morgan Burnett. Um, I released him, so I guess you guys just believe in Terrell Edmonds because he's he's going to have to play big. Terrell Edmonds is going to be on. Um, looks like he's going to be a starting strong safety, and then you got Sean Davis who showed that he's pretty good last season. Sean Davis. I saw a few good things about Sean Davis last year. So we're talking about pretty solid, a pretty solid secondary. Um, this defensive line is still going to be there as long as they're healthy, and this and this linebacking core is looking pretty good. 
So we're looking at a pretty good defense. You're looking at a, I might not say top 10 defense, but they might crack a top 15 defense. It looks like a defense that can hold their own. And then you're talking about a coach like Mike Tomlin, who's been known for his defense. So he's going to get the best out of his players on the defensive side. So, I mean, we're talking about a, about a pretty good, um, pretty good defense. Now, to get back to things um, on the offense, because I don't want to go everywhere, but I want to speak on the offense real quick. Now, one thing I will say is, with this team, I feel that they could use another wide receiver. I could see the Steelers maybe going after a player like Michael Crabtree or Des Bryant. Um, on the offensive side, this just popped in my head that I felt that they could use another wide receiver like Michael Crabtree or Des Bryant. Now, they need to go after them quick because... I don't like when you have to add players, um, like, you know, when they can't get used to the system. Like, I would try to hurry up and get Michael Crabtree or Des Bryant in the Pittsburgh system, uh, Pittsburgh Steelers system before training camp so they can still have a good time to adjust with Big Ben and the whole entire offense. But, like I said, man, this team is real solid. And I know the Steelers are getting slept on. I know a lot of people just feel that they're going to just, uh, fall <laughs> just fall <laughs> just fall until you know just become trash you know just fall in the curve or, or something you know just fall in the ditch but you know um i think the Steelers are being slept on man um you know even though that they lost a b and lady on bell this is still so this is a still still a really solid offense man still a really solid offense man and this defense still is pretty good. Really no big names when you see on that defensive side. Like, their best defensive players are probably like Cameron Hayward, uh, um, TJ Watt, and all. But, like, you, you have a bunch of solid defensive players that know their role. And Mike Thomas is going to get the best out of these role players. So, I, mean, I expect this team to be pretty good this year. Um, where that's when winning the division i'm probably leave that for another time um but look the Steelers team is really well they're coaching you got a great coach in mike tom you still got big man who's still a top 10 quarterback in the nfl uh due for the most passing yards last year and i mean we're looking at a pretty solid team on both sides of the on the field so where i rank the pittsburgh steelers and terrence um, they missed the playoffs last year, but this is a new year. I'm going to have to put them in Tier 2, man. Tier 2. I know a lot of people be like, what? You put the Cleveland Browns in Tier 3, and the Cleveland Browns are way more talented than the, than the Pittsburgh Steelers. But look, this is the Pittsburgh Steelers are a team full of veterans, and you know that's needed in the NFL because you have to have some experience in the NFL, man. It's not, it's not just you throw a bunch of talent in there and you make it work. Now you have to have you have to have some players that have been there and done that, and the Steelers definitely have that. They have a coach that you know has won a has won a championship, so he has Super Bowl experience. You got Big Ben, who's won two rings. He has experience, and you know I just feel that this team they're being slept on, and I think I think I like how Big Ben is coming to training camp. I like how he's. You know, he, he's put the Antonio Brown situation in the past and is looking forward to his new team. I think that's uh, that's great um, for the Pittsburgh Steelers because in the past seasons, like, they would come into training camp and always be some drama surrounded around the Steelers. And there really hasn't been no drama surrounding about the Steelers. So, I think mean, that's a good first step. And, um, you know, I just I'm just liking this team, man. I'm just really liking this team. They're really solid on both sides of the field. Um, I think mean, this offense can still be top 10. I think this defense can be top 15. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in um, tier 2. Uh, I feel this is going to be a tier 2 team. I think they're a really, really, really solid team. Really solid team. And I know I know there's going to be some uh, people I disagree. I know Steelers fans are going to agree with me on this one. I know, uh, you know, teams in the other division, <laughs> teams in the other division, teams in the ASC, um, are just going to disagree, which I'm with it, you know, just comment how you feel about it, you know, I'll answer, I don't bite, 
<laughs> I might, <laughs> you know. But anyway, man. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to do, man. Of course, this is a team preview. Um, now I've done three teams. I've done the Cincinnati Bengals, the Cleveland Browns, and now the Pittsburgh Steelers. So now that on your leads, the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to give you guys that video by tomorrow, by tomorrow. So. You know, Baltimore Ravens fans, watch out. Salute to Engraving. Team Keep It Clean. Be looking out for that. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I really want to say, man. But you know how, you know what I say, man. Like I do in all my videos, man. If you guys enjoy NFL, NBA content, want to see some gaming content in your future, give this video a like. If you're new, go and subscribe to the channel while you're at it. Now, <laughs> I almost said my intro, man. I keep tripping on that. But anyway. I'm the phenomenal one and I'm out. Do this.